Hey guys, this is Phoenix. Clearly it's a different day, but today we're going to go inside the office. I'm going to show you a couple things, not everything, because I can't show everything, and I can't, can or cannot show some people's faces. So we're going to do a quick tour around, and I'll like cover some things that I get to see every day, and you guys get to see them too. So here we go. Ready? Alright, this is where we stopped last time. But now, we get to go inside the building. Ready for this? Alright. Oh, just as a FYI from last time, my last video from the walk, here's a layout of the entire area where we came around. We started here, around the circle, and we went all the way from here. Do do do. Her Interactive. Her Interactive is on the second floor. Right now we're in the conference center. So her interactive is up the stairs. The rest of the stuff down here is just for any of the other buildings. People come and talk here, whole conferences, meetings. You see, conference center. There we go. Focusing on that. Her interactive, second floor. Here we go. Going up the stairs. Dun dun dun. Try to keep this as steady as possible. Oh, there it is. Still need to get my picture taken in front of the sign. But it's real. It's here. Alright. That's where we just came from. Downstairs. See, it looks really pretty from up here. Okay. So we're going inside the visitor's center. This is cool because there's a ton of Nancy Drew games in here. Alright. Let's see, up there we have some Nancy Drew games that are in French. Yep, yes we are. And over here we have some other Nancy Drew games that are in French, because they sell them in France for the French to read. And here is a Coco Kringle bar, which I happen to have, but there are not that many left, and it's really hard to get a hold of. I will I have to tell you in another video how you can get a hold of them because they're not in the shop for sale right now, but you'll see promos for them of how to get one. So I'll tell you about that later when I do a Coco Kringle video. And there's some more Nancy Drew games up there. Of course there's these games everywhere. What about, uh oh, I hear some people coming. Oh well. These games are, it's kind of blurry, but these games are in Russian. See that? Look how cool that is. It says Nancy Drew. That's how you spell Nancy Drew in Russian. Alright. Here's something really cool. That's the kitchen back there. This. Ha ha. Look at how beautiful it is. All these wonderful books and games. And there's the latest game that's out right now. Tomb of Last Queen. And some other fantastic, but it's all the games right here. Oh. And this is someone's desk back here, but she's not here, and I'm not Nancy, so we're not going to, like, snoop through her stuff. And I think I'm going to go in the kitchen. If no one's in the kitchen, I'll just show you really quickly. There's all their snacks. There's three fridges in here. Count them. One, two, where's the other one? Three. Yeah, coffee, water. I don't drink coffee, but there's hot chocolate back there, so I have hot chocolate. My office, cubicle back there. And board games. Look how many board games. Well, I mean, this is a gaming company, right? So, I don't even recognize half these games. But that's okay, because on Fridays, during lunch, people play games. Why not? Some view around the second story puzzle they completed before I got here. So, see that? This is the kitchen. That's a pretty big kitchen. We're going to go into see my cubicle now. Here's some cool art. I don't think it's related to Nancy Drew as far as I can tell, but I haven't asked anyone, so... I have to check that out just in case. Or it could just be really interesting. Alright. Here's my cubicle. There are people working so you can hear some people talking. <clears throat> but, oh yeah, here, check it out. When I came here, there were these posters up and I was like, oh yeah, posters. You guys need to make some posters so I can buy some posters. They don't right now, but they're looking into making some so that you can buy some on the shop and just everyone can have an Nancy Drew poster. By the way, this was my favorite game. Saw so, Shadows at Water's Edge because it was really scary and I was playing it with three other friends in front of my laptop and we're all 20 years old at the time and we're screaming like little girls. 
but it was great. It was great. You should play it. And two computers, because it takes two computers to do all my work. Some art that I have to see. I had to like put some stuff because my cuticle is not very decorated, as you can tell. But if we come over here, you'll see little Jackalope computer space, and you can tell she's been here for longer than I have. Cause she's look at all her games. I think those are all the games too. Yeah. And she's got some cool posters. We won't go in too much because she's got some writing around there. And that little tin can next to the phone, that stash of Cocoa Kringles. I'm pretty sure those are the last Cocoa Kringles in the world, unless somebody ordered one and then hasn't eaten it yet. But otherwise, that and then the one you saw in the frame and then the one that I have back at the house are the only Cocoa Kringles that I know that I have. Oh, and there's one right there. Huh, okay, make that 11. Okay. Pretty sure there's like 11 left. And there's her little hat, so you know it's really her space, right? Little jackalope hat. I'm gonna show you some other cool things that I know I can show you. Going down the hallway. See, that's where we came from. Over there. Well, actually, we circled back around, but we'll go over there in a second. But over here, look how dark it is. Artists like working in the dark because it's better to focus that way. Haha. Uh, -ha. So, can I turn this up? Yes, I can. Alright. This is the testing lab and see it's just full of all these fantastic posters last train blue moon canyon secret of the old clock blackmore manor that one was good uh shadow ranch deception island haunted carousel ghost dog see they need to sell these right it's totally necessary so we can all just have rooms like this where all of these our nancy posters just collect and then it'll be like a trophy wall with all the nancy games you played and then if you played all of them, then you're just going to have to put them on all the walls, right? But this is where girls or boys come in to test the Nancy Drew games, puzzles, to see how they're working. And you can only be a tester if you live in the state of Washington. So, because I'm here now, I actually got to test some of the puzzles for the Deadly Device. Which is very exciting. So, we had a meeting about that too, about the puzzle results. So it was interesting. More Nancy Drew games! Oh. Or just, I guess, they're probably just puzzles, because you see test lab on the bottom. But yeah, there's nothing on that whiteboard, so that's okay. Then I'm showing that. And there's one other room that I know I can show you guys. But that's pretty cool, right? I like it. I can hang out in this room all the time. But then I feel stressed out, because I know I'm being watched and judged for my puzzle scores. So I'm like, oh. And I'm going to take all the time that I usually do, because it takes me forever to solve puzzles. that are really hard. I always play in junior mode. I know I'm like you know, older, but I just, yeah, I play on junior mode, because that's my favorite. Alright, this room is going to be the last room that I'm going to show you. This is the conference center room, and I'm going to shut the door just so nobody else. It's still early in the morning, but there's still people coming in. Here is a wall of Nancy trophies. There's the layout of the building. But look at this. It's awards, not, you know, trophies, awards, parents' choice awards, and they are just for I'd say most of the Nancy Drew games, yeah. Look at that. Parents love the games, kids love the games, boys and girls love the Nancy Drew games. It's pretty cool. And then here we have meetings discussing about the art, the box cover art. We talked about that in here, or actually any meetings kind of usually held in here. And we all sit around this table and talk, and we sometimes we go through the game, like the new game. So we've already seen some of the things from the new game. And that's, that's always really cool, you know? I never thought I'd be able to do that. But that is her interactive. And yeah. All right, so no, I didn't show everything, but I showed you two cubicles, what the kitchen looked like, the Nancy Drew games over there in the office, this area, the testing lab. I showed you, I showed you a good amount. I will show more as I get more permission, you know, to show other people's offices. We'll do that. I might be able to do some interviews with some interesting people about the office, like the artists or designers, and be like, hey, not exactly, I can't really ask what they're working on, because they're working on the new game, obviously, but I'll talk about maybe what it's like working at Her Interactive, and you have fun every day, and what are some of the things you really enjoy about your job? So, you know, maybe some interviews, if they don't mind being on camera and, you know, the entire world saying what they have to say. But that is Her Interactive. I will show more. So you're gonna have to stay tuned. It might may or may not be the next video. Depends. Depends what else it might show. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good day.